Time now for your storm tracker weather with meteorologist Curtis Grevenance. All right, welcome back everybody. Good Thursday evening to you all. Pretty nice day here throughout most of the state. Now some parts of the state were a little warmer and a little windier like Great Falls 38 degrees. The wind not too terrible. Southwest 16 miles per hour. That is something that you can tolerate if you have to work outside or be outside for an extended period of time. Feels like 29 though when you factor in that wind. Now in the capital area also down around Townsend heading over to Bozeman over through uh, places like Lincoln and Ovando, the valley locations close to the divide and west of the divide. Maybe you started to notice a little of that haze today. If you didn't today, you probably will notice some of that haze tomorrow as it will continue to build up here over the next few days. 29 degrees and no wind really in the capital where we are currently looking at moderate air quality. Another sign of this inversion kind of trapping some of the moisture and also the pollution down around Bozeman. Also a little hazy, some pollution building up there as well. And I suspect that more of these locations west of the divide will be looking at more moderate air quality over the next few days as this ridge of high pressure continues to uh, persist over the area, but also continues to trap more and more in the way of that pollution and also cold air. Not much again going on on the radar here as far as snow goes just off toward the west. Uh, there are air quality alerts here. This is a freezing fog advisory. If you are heading down to Idaho Falls and Pocatello over to around uh, Twin Falls as well, uh, fog allowing uh, being allowed to form because of the stagnant air underneath this high pressure. So we've got the high in the west. We've got the ridge or the uh, trough in the jet stream in the east, allowing some cold air, some snow all the way down into Texas right now. This high also contributing to the fiery conditions in Southern California. Santa Anta winds, down sloping winds, kind of like what we have here at times off of the Rocky Mountain front where the air just accelerates coming down the mountains there in Southern California, moving offshore and that uh, fans the flames of uh, some wildfires and you want snow? Go to Mexico. Go to southern Texas. This is quite unusual to see winter storm warnings as far south as Corpus Christi, Texas under a winter storm warning. Here's what will happen. This high sticks around for not only just tomorrow for Friday, not just this weekend, but all the way into next week. We've got about another week of weather conditions like this with precipitation either staying way out into the Great Lakes with some lake effect snow there or a little rain coming into the uh, British Columbia area, but really nothing coming anywhere close to Montana. Lows tonight down below the freezing point here, so watch out for maybe a little refreezing of some of the surfaces that were wet. The capital area down into the teens. Here is Friday's forecast. Colder in the valley locations with calm conditions, a little hazy there. Temperatures pushing 50 degrees once again from north central Montana. Saturday, a pretty nice day with the exception of that moderate air quality and the colder air in the valley locations. Once again, up around 50 for north central Montana. A few more 50s for Sunday and heading into Monday. Yeah, more of the same with that high pressure sticking around. Enjoy it while we have it because winter and cold and snow are inevitable here in Montana. Some hazy conditions maybe through the weekend. Temperature staying in the 30s and for Great Falls, good air quality there. No issues with uh, any buildup of some pollution because we've got that wind. We're not looking at any inversions, but notice how next Thursday the temperatures begin to drop. I'm thinking around the end of next week and next weekend, colder air and snow returning here to Montana. Well, it's almost winter and it's December. And so. I'm thinking a white Christmas. <laughs>